done, may I ask everyone to please stand and let us have a short prayer. Miss Cherry, please lead the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love to me here. Ever this day, be at my side to light and guide, to rule and guide. Amen. Amen. Okay, before you take your seat, kindly look around you and pick up all the trashes that you see. Okay, thank you. You may now take your seat. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Ma. Can you bring your classmate a happy and beautiful morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, do we have absentees for today? None, Ma. Okay, that's great. So, before we proceed to our next lesson, let us have first a quick review to what we have discussed yesterday. So again, yesterday, what was the topic? Yes, Angelica? The different types of soil, ma'am. Very good. And what are these types of soil? Miss Rafaela? Clay, loam, and sand. Yes, we have the clay, loam, and sand. Okay, very good. I think we can now proceed to our next lesson. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so who among you here wants to play a game? Yes, of course, everyone. So this game is very easy as usual. I am going to show you different pictures, okay? And what you're going to do is to identify what is in the picture. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so for the first picture, what do you see? Yes, Miss Cherry. The boy is drinking water. Ma. Yes, very good. The boy drinking water. Next, what do you see? Yes, Miss Angelica. Two girls watering a plant, ma'am. Very good. Girls watering plants. Next, we also have Miss Rapella. A mother and daughter washing their clothes. Yes, very good. Next. Yes, Miss Cherry. Girls are swimming, swimming in the swimming pool. Swimming in the pool. Very good. And the last one we have. Yes, Ms. Rapella? Washing fruits and vegetables. Excellent. Very good. So these pictures that I have shown to you has something to do with our discussion for today. But, wait, there's more. Behind these pictures are random letters. Random letters and I want you to arrange these letters in order to form a word. Okay, so you see there are five letters right there. Can you guess the jumbled words? You can guess the jumbled words. Yes, Jerry. Water, mom. Water, very good. Can you arrange them? Come in front. Thank you, Miss Cherry. You may now see it. So the word is water. So the pictures and the word water is related to our topic today. How and why? Because today we are going to discuss the uses of water in our daily activities. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you listen very well, class. So before we proceed to the different uses of water in our daily lives, in different activities, let us first define what is water. So can you read the first definition of water, Miss Angelica? Water is a substance composed of two chemical elements, the hydrogen and the oxygen. Very good, thank you. And the second definition, Miss Cherry? It has the important ability to dissolve many other substances like powder. Yes, thank you, very good. So, as it says right here, water is a substance that composed of two chemical elements. Again, what are these two chemical elements? Hydrogen. Yes, uh, everyone? Hydrogen and oxygen. And oxygen. And also it has the special ability to dissolve other substances like powder. So for example, 
uh, Miss Cherry wants to have orange juice and she has orange powder. So, Cherry needs a cup of water in order to dissolve the juice powder. So, that is a, an example of how the water used as a solvent. So, did you know that water is a tasteless and odorless liquid? No, it has no taste and it has no odor. So, indeed, the versatility of water as a solvent is very essential for us as living organisms or as living humans. Now, let us proceed to the different uses of water in our lives. Can you see our presentation right here? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so can anyone give me first an example where we use water in our daily activities? Yes, Ms. Rapello? Drinking. Another example. That's, that's good. That's correct. Cherry? Cooking, ma'am. Very good. Another example. Ms. Angelica? Washing clothes, ma'am. Very good. So your answers are all correct. Now let's see the most important uses of water in our daily activities. First, what do you see? Avoid drinking water. Yes, one use of water is in drinking. Did you know that it is the most important use of water? Because, simply because our body needs water to function. Did you know also that there are a lot of benefits water gives to our body? First, of course, well, like what I said, it helps our body to function well. And it also helps our body to remove the waste. It also helps our body to digest the food that we are eating. And one most importantly, it, regulate, it regulates the temperature of our body. Water has a lot of minerals that our body needs. So every day, as much as is possible, we have to drink how many glasses of water? Eight. At least eight glasses of water. Very good. Next. What do you see? Bathing. Bathing. Very good, Cherry. Mm -hmm. One use of water is bathing. Because every day, who's taking a bath every day? Yes, of course. We should have we should take a bath every day. How 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 are we going to use water? Of course, water is the only thing that we can use to wash our face, to wash our body, to wash our hands, and even in brushing our teeth, we are using water. And also, uh, through bathing, through cleaning our body, it helps us to maintain our proper hygiene, right? Okay. Are you still following me? Yes. yes. Okay, next. What do you see? Cooking. 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 Yes, very good. Another use of water in our daily activities is cooking. Why do we need to use water in cooking? Okay, so imagine yourself. Now you have a cup of, uh, let's say a cup of rice. How are you going to turn that into something edible? How are you going to turn that into something that we can eat? Of course, you have to use water in order to soften the, what they call the bigas, right? Oh. So without water, imagine how are you going to make siniga? How are you going to cook adobo? So basically, uh, in, in everything or in anything that we cook, we need Water. Okay, next we also have number four. What do you see? Washing dishes. Washing dishes, yes, right? Another use of water is washing dishes. How? Every one of us now are, almost everyone are using washable materials. Washable kitchen utensils. Spoon, forks, plates, cups and even the knives, everything that we use in the kitchen, we have to wash them in order to use them again. So what, what do you think will happen if we don't use these kitchen utensils after uh, using them? What will happen if we don't wash them? But it will become dirty, but, uh, right? And if it uh, becomes dirty, we are not able to use them. It makes us sick sometimes if we use something Dirty. So that is one of the use of water in washing dishes. It is very important. Next, we also have watering, watering 
plants, yes, very good. Did you know that uh, plants also, also are like humans when it comes to the needs in water? So like I said a while ago, or if I haven't yet, and if I haven't yet said this, uh, all living organisms need water to survive. So we people, we human beings, we need water in order to not die in thirst. And of course, the plants also needs water in order to grow, in order for them to bloom, in order for them to bear fruits. And soon, we people, we're going to eat that fruit, right? So we get benefit from these plants. So in, uh, in return, we have to water them every day, right? Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Are you still following me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, next. We have the last one. Cleaning fruits and vegetables. Cleaning fruits and vegetables. Before you eat something, do you wash this first? Do you wash them first? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, we should wash our food first before eating them. Anything that we put in our mouth and in our stomach, we have to wash them first. Why? There is advantage of washing our food first before eating them. First, yes, it removes the dirt from the fruit or from the vegetable. And most importantly, it removes the possible poison in the fruit or in the vegetables. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so these are the different uses of water in our daily activities, cleaning fruits and vegetables. Can you read together? Watering plants. Watering plants. Washing dishes, cooking, bathing, and drinking. Drinking, very good. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Do you have other questions about the uses of water in our daily activities? No. None? Okay, so here, if you don't have questions, I am going to ask you now. So, listen everyone. Do you think we can live without water? No. Everyone, answer. Do you think we can live without water? No, ma'am. No. Why do you think so? Yes, Ms. Rapella. Because almost all our daily activities needs water. Yes, very good. Thank you, Rapella. Yes, we, uh, we need water because almost all our activities involves water. In drinking, in cooking, in cleaning, in washing, and in everything. So imagine from the the time you woke up in the morning, what do you do first? Water. You drink water. Uh, anything else? You wash your face, you wash your hands, or you go to the, you use the bathroom and you use water, right? Okay. So in everything we do, and wherever we go, water is involved. You cannot survive without Water. Okay, so what else will be affected if there is no water aside from us as human beings? Plants, ma'am. Plants. Yes, Miss Cherry. Animals. Animals, very good. The plants and the animals because they are also living things. They are also, uh, they also need water in order to survive and live. Now, another question. I have a lot of questions, right? How will you encourage others to conserve water? Or first, how are you going to encourage yourself to, cons uh, to conserve water? Yes, Ms. Cherry. We should use it wisely and properly. Very good. Do you have other questions? Do you have other ideas? That's? Yes, Ms. Rapala? By simply telling them. Yes, thank you. So, by simply telling ourselves, by simply telling our friends, our family, or other, other people that we should use water wisely, we are helping already to conserve water. And how are we going to use water? We should use it wisely and properly. We should use what is only needed. So, if you know in the first place that you can drink the whole cup of water, do not overflow it, okay? If you know in the first place that you can 
you can finish the whole cup of water. Do not overflow it and throw it anywhere you like. Okay? If you see a plant near you, if you see a uh, animal near you which you think needs water, you can give it to them. Okay? So in that way, you are showing the importance of water and you are already conserving water. Is that clear? Yes. Do you have other questions? Mom. No, Mom. None? Are you sure? Yes, Mom. Are you sure that you are ready to have your group activity? Yes, yes Mom. Okay, so I think everyone now uh, know the importance of water. Everyone of you now knows the different uses of water in our daily activities. So I guess you are now prepared to the group activity. Okay, for your group activity, I am going to divide the class into two. This will be the group one and this will be the group two. For the group one, here is your task. This is a role play activity. So what are you what are you going to do is to act out the different uses of water. Okay? So you can use props. We have plastic cups here and water. So it's up to you what are you going to do. Just show us what is the use of water in our daily activities. So for the group two, uh, for you, uh, the poster making. So I want you here to draw and color anything, any art that shows the use of water in different activities. Is that clear? Yes, okay. ma'am. So, of course, we have the standards to follow in doing a group activity. So, first, you must work quietly. Second, you share your ideas to your classmates. You cooperate and you have to finish on time. Is that clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Do you have other questions for your group activity? None, ma'am. Okay, you can do it now and, and finish it in five minutes. So are you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I think everyone really give, gave their best in their activities. I am very, very proud to see your product. Now, if you have no other questions, I am going to give you now your assignment. So kindly bring out a piece of paper and your pen. Okay, so for your assignment, Draw the water cycle in a short carbon bond paper. And I want you to pass it tomorrow. So do you have other questions, class? Clarifications? None, ma'am. So you did understand everything? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, so I expect that everyone now has a knowledge about the different uses of water in different activities. And also, I expect that everyone now knows how to give importance to water, okay? Remember that water is life. Water is everything. You cannot live without water. You cannot survive without water. And you cannot do other stuff. You cannot do other things without water, okay? So if you do not have any questions, and Chris, thank you for listening class. Let's call it a day. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bye class. Pakagalit. Hi. 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 Hi.